from MacFusion and today I'm going to show you an application called Fluid. Fluid does something so simple yet so amazing that I was so geeked out I had to film a video and it's, it's almost lame how easy it is to turn this web service into a little standalone application. Um, so one of the problems I have with products like um, Google Buzz and um, Google Wave is that I don't use them because they're in a web browser. And it's not that I, I hate having everything in the web browser, but I just really like having standalone applications to do what I need. So for like Facebook, yes, I do log into the, the Facebook browser, but um, I also have other add-ons that I use for Facebook to manage it, just because by going to the browser, it's, I just don't go there as often as I probably would if, if it was a standalone application. Um, so let me show you how this works. So let's first of all, let's open Fluid. If I can type it correctly. There we go. So this is it. So um, all we need is a URL. We need to name it. And if you've got a, an icon to use, that's it. So let's go ahead and do um, Gmail. Gmail I don't actually keep on my phone or in my mail app. Um, I only use it in the web browser, so therefore I don't use it very often. So um, let's go ahead and create that. Let's find Safari. I can't type today. Okay. There we go. That's my Gmail. So first thing I'm going to do is select all, Command C to copy it. Go ahead and hide it. Paste it right in. Name. Let's go ahead and call it Gmail. And we want it to live in the applications. So I already downloaded a Gmail icon. Are we on the desktop? Nope. Create. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Gmail seemed to work just as is. Um, I did have a few other applications that I tried doing that um, whenever I clicked a link or something, it opened up in Safari. And I don't want to open it up in Safari. I want it to all stay within the application that I created. So really easy. Um, just go to Preferences, and I use a shortcut, Command. Command comma is a shortcut for preferences in almost all apps. There's a few apps that don't use the universal shortcut, but Command comma, and uh, it'll take you there. So go under Advanced and then allow browsing to any URL. And so that enables it, so if you click any of these links, it'll stay right within this little app that you just created. So um, let's go ahead and quit that. And then I use, uh, there we go. There's my app that I created. Open it up, and there it is. So you'll notice that it's not even though it looks a little bit like a Safari web page, it's not a Safari web page. Right there, there's the name I gave it, Gmail. It's got all sorts of drop downs. Um, my one password works with it. And uh, I don't know, for me, that's pretty cool. So let's see, another thing that you can do, um, and I really like this because one of the things that I do a lot is go to my blog and to my um, WordPress blog dashboard pane. So I thought, well, why not make an app out of that? Let's go here. I've already got it loaded up. Copy the URL. Paste the URL. Name, I'm going to call it uh, MF Blog. Uh, other. Oh, you know what? That's not a really good looking icon that I made. It's kind of flat, square, not really good looking. So why don't we go into picturesque? Let's spiff it up a little bit. Okay, I like the stroke. I don't know if I like the uh, the blue shadow on that. Let's turn that off. I like the rounded corners. Let's go ahead and do that. Save as. And uh, save as a PNG. PNG will allow it to keep the transparency around the, the rounded corners. Let's already have on my desktop. Uh, no, that's a TIFF. Go ahead and save that. saved it to the wrong place, but that's okay. Watch 
now. And you'll notice that um, my 1Password still works with it. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I did with the other one, where I go into Advanced. Okay, so it saved it for that one. I, the other ones I was doing, it wasn't saving it. Was, uh, it was making it automatically open up Safari. So just double check that. But now I can go through and manage my entire blog from this little application that I made. How cool is that? Love this. Uh, I'm going to make it with everything. And as somebody who manages clients and um, sometimes things are confusing for them, I can take a, a web service that they use or that a whole department uses and I can make an application out of this and now push it out to them and they don't have to worry about URLs. I think I might do this with my web help desk support system. This will help a lot of them. So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but pretty powerful. Um, I went ahead and I, I made quite a few. Google Reader, which I don't love, but uh, made it a standalone app. Maybe I'll find some more love for it. Doubtful. Uh, let's see. Oh, my um, my YouTube page. I can now go in here and I can manage my comments. Very easy, all in one little application. I just love it. I'm so excited about this. Um, I would love to hear what you guys do with it. So um, drop me a comment and let me know what you've made into apps. Thanks for watching.